Aha! Okay. What the? the cracking cam! Wait, oh, back Wow, well, this all screwed up immediately. How did, when did tracking cam fall over? When did my background change? Oh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, this one. There we go. And now, tracking cam, please. I know you want to be in frame, but you're meant to be out of frame. Actually, you know, tracking me. That's, you have a job and I have a job. We need to work together. Okay, you need to stop falling. Okay. Shoop. And tracking, you want to stop screwing up on me? Go on. Angle. Good. Alright. Perfect start to the stream. And here we go. Hopefully we can start doing the water sliding tonight on this gun. Well, actually we will be. I just need to get my shiz together for this. So do bear with me in a moment. OBS, come back. Perfect. Okay, let's go through this. First off, got my got my water slides. Got the original stickers to compare the numbers with. Uh, what's in here? Spare bits to deal with another deal with later. The other side first. Got my tray for the water. I got the manual to compare with. And of course, I got the Gundam. So let me get the shiz I will need together. Tweezers. A hard, a hard surface to work on. Maybe the other way. Yep. Yeah. Like this. No, no, no. The other way. I use the other side for photographing. Get the cutting board. Let's get you the right way, right way around. Peg you in. Bizarre. Camera, are you focused? Yeah. Let's see, foc let me check the camera's focus. Right, so ideal focus is right here. Ugh, that's... So I need to drop... Hold on. Cam booth. Let us configure the focus manually. Let's see how this works. Whoa! So with this focus, how is it? Okay, maybe this is a good focus. We shall see. Okay, then we got backpack and rifle and I will repaint the rifle barrel um, midnight blue just to match the rifle barrels up for the rest of the guns yeah so watch your rifle make a bit more work but we shall see uh, oh crap I think never mind back to autofocus I'll figure out this camera, eventually. Anyway, let us begin. I'm gonna need a sharp hobby knife. This is probably sharp enough. And I'm gonna need my tweezers, which I had just here. Keyword had just here. I don't know where I put them already. Snacks the camera for good luck. Hmm. Hmm. Tweezers, I just had you. And I've now lost you. Oh my god, wait, did I just seriously lose my tweezers? 
just after holding them on stream. Re review the footage! Rewind the footage, find them. Ah, there they are. Here we go. Tools are prepared. Now, let us start going carefully. Let's just, let's start with the shield first. Let's get into the swing of things with the shield, because the shield doesn't have that many water slides to do. So, main body. Ah, oh, no, no main body. You can stay here. You're fine. Exposure. Jeez. This exposure is horrible. Yeah. Wait. Brightness not on auto? Oh, I can't change brightness. Uh... Turn off auto. Yeah! That's more like it! Brighter than the sun! Oh. Okay, I'll fix you to this. Minus eight. Why not? See what happens. Is it gonna be because I'm overblowing the light? Oh, let me turn that one off and turn this exposure up a bit. Oh, maybe this is good. Mm, no, still too shiny. No, oh, nah, keep it like this. Because when working on the pieces in the center here, plenty visible. All right, we're, we're going with this. We're using these settings for now. Let us begin. This is the water sliding. So, shield needs three, four, seven, seven? Two sevens. Where? You sure this is also a seven? The symbol, look, the water slide looks completely different. Hold on. M A M V O five A. M A M V O five A. None of these say M V O five A on it. Wait, is that from the uh what you call it? Wait, diamonds. Oh that's the dry decal, that's the what you call it? Dry transfer. Oh, do I have the water slide version of these in my sheet? I like there to be the water slide version on the sheet. Uh, I guess we will. If not, I guess we're going to start learning how to do dry transfers as well. Huh? M A. Looking, looking, looking. No. These are numbered the same way. Oh. This does not have a copy of the dry transfer details. Huh. Interesting. Wait, hold on. Is my light improving by turning the lights off? No. Keep that one on. Turn this one on. No, too much. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So I guess we're gonna learn how to do dry transfers as well tonight. Pretty scary. Yeah. So this is majority dry transfers. Ooh. Are you sh am I sure? Hold on. I have not actually looked closely at these before stream. Yeah, looks like the dry transfers are going to be dry transfers as is. So maybe you know what? Shield, we're going to put aside to later. Because most of that is dry transfers, except for one. So I can do that first. Uh, number seven. Which 
is going to be on the center here. So here we go, got my Mark Softer and Mark Setter. Probably not going to need Softer yet, but we'll need the Setter. There we go, keep things nice compact together. So I'm going to need a number seven, one of these. And I'll just use this to do the cut. Number seven. Yeah, okay, I see it. Eh. Oh, okay, so you need to slide out of the way, I need cutting space. And, oh. Maybe. YOLO! If my head get if the back of my head gets on the camera, so be it. I but I need to cut this. Carefully. Carefully. I'm much further away than I'm used to when I'm cutting things. Carefully. Real carefully. Yep. These actually have a very tight border around them, which is good. But I still want to give myself some space around the decals so I can actually hold the backing during the trans actual transfer. out now. Yes. One water slide is free. Let's just start off with this one. Let's just slowly get into the swing of things. I've got some mostly fresh water here into this plastic container. There we go. Yeah, it's an angle, so it'll be fine. Oh my god, is it gonna be a reflection? Nah, whatever. Whatever. So let's start nice and easy. So that's gonna position which way? Hmm. This way. So it's like this. There we go. All right, tweezers. Yeah, we're really getting water everywhere. And wait, I need my cotton bud to start wetting things. First off, the mark setter. It's a very dusty mark setter. Dab, dab, dab. There's wet the area where it will go with it just around about here in preparation and wet the end of this q-tip let's get you out uh oh oh no oh no oh no don't flip on me oh okay 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 now the fun part of transferring it to the piece. Dab, dab, dab. Pouring the backing. Then gonna use this to just slide it off, in fact. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. It's just sliding right off onto the piece. There we go. Backing, drop the backing away. Get it wet a bit. And now let us position. Absorb some of the dampness. 
Is it is it centered? Is it straight? Hold on. Okay. My voice is gonna go very quiet as I'm trying to position this nicely. Oops, come on. Stay down. Absorb. Oh no, can I shift you yet? No. Oh, just re wet it. There we go. Now we can shift it a bit more. I need. Oop, oh, too much. Too far. Too far. Come on. Eh, eh. Come on. Stay centered. Okay, okay, okay. Carefully dry. Dab and dry. Is that sort of okay? No, no, no. It needs to be much closer to the fins. Oh, let us dab, re wet it, and try to pull it. There we go. There we go. So it's much closer to the fins. Uh. Okay, then absorb again. Yep, doop, doop, doop. Be much closer. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're centered. Okay, very. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you move on me. Uh... Okay, you're in a good position. You're in a good position. Don't move. Just need to dab. Dab and dry. Dab and dry. Damn it. Quit oscillating ever so slightly as I dry you. Very, very carefully. Yeah, there's still some dampness there. Let's use different parts of the cotton bud that's dry. Corners there. Woo! Okay. One water slide is now applied. Oh, I bet you get the hang of that. And that's the only one on the shield because the others... Oh, no. Wait, there's a stuff of round circle. Number seven... Oop. Here on the center. There's one at the tip. 54. Okay, let's get 54 dealt with next and see. Uh, crap. Got this part wet. I need to try that off a moment. Du -du -du. Let us see. Hold on, looking for my tissue tissues. Boop. Alright. Fifty-four, fifty-four. Which one of you is fifty This tiny We have a tiny little warning label thing. At the very tip on this grey piece. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? You'll know. Uh, jeez, how am I going to get that one out? Um, let me just do a line here. Good. Do a line here. Cut. Yeah, come on. Pick up. Change around to this side. OK. 
careful nice and controlled and then if I do it this way get the edge whoa 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 hold on don't you don't you loosen on me do not betray your master It's gonna be hell to get that in place. I've already done water slides once before, and that was my first time streaming with the entry grade grandpa. And those were much bigger water slides. Eh. Dunk you in there. Submerge you. Submerge you. Submerge. Demand you to submerge. Oh, quite well. Yeah, so much enough. Let us get the mark setter in place where it's meant to go. Okay, let's pick you up from here. Nice. Uh, which way? Oh crap! Which way are you supposed to go? White line down. Rotate this way. Okay. So I need to slide you off like so. Uh oh. Can't get my f my fat fingers can't get close enough. Tip, use the tip. Slide you off the backing. One backing, get out of that. You need to get dried up already. Come on. Wet. Watch yourself. There we go. Get wet. I can get away. Okay, okay, okay. Positioning time. Get you right at the tip. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Rotate. Dried up already. Rotate, rotate, okay. Center. Too much. Orb. Okay. Rotate. Well, uh, get, get, get in position, plus. You are not straight. I need you to straighten out. Come on. Okay. 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 Hold on. No, 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 you're off to the center ever so slightly. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes. Come on. Straighten again. Straighten. Shit. Get a bit wet. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Angles. Absorb. Oh, 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 I think you're good. Okay, I need to. Need a fresh one. They'll dry out later, but I need a fresh one right now. Just dry. Just light, 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 light tapping. Okay. Oh, no. Yep. 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 Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah. All that for that tiny little white stripe and a little warning sign which you'll never be able to read. Woohoo! Okay. Wait, so this mark this mark says meant to be used under it, right? Both softens and strengths as adhesive. Apply to position the decal over here. Apply on the decal when it's apply softer on the de oh no. Setter is applied to position the decal over the area. Uh so do I apply it on top again or do I just leave it as is? I completely forgot. The Mr. Mark Setter how to Let's recheck and see. Images. It looks like used before you apply the slide. Good. <gasps> oh, he got. Let us continue this. Oh. Hold on, my preview screens are all off. Perfect. Discord, come back, please. I need you over here. Okay. Onwards to glory we go. So. That's the two water slides on the shield done. Nothing. The rest are these dry transfers, which uh, I will deal with those later. For now, let us go to the, the main event, the body. Anything with the dragoons? Not really. Cool. So, shield. You're going to go to the side first. Uh, right. J Spot, welcome to this channel, man. First time tuning in, tuning in your whilst I watch. Welcome, welcome. Yep, yep. Ooh, my tracking camera. Yep, this is going to be a very chill sort of stream. Well, chill if I don't get pissed off, because it's just applying water slides now. This is my second time applying water slides, and uh, the big one, the shield went okay. This tiny little one with a white stripe at the tip of the shield, ooh, that was, that was getting me really salty after two water slides. So, yeah, putting the shields aside for now, because it's got, my decaling sheet I got only has copies of the water slide. The dry transfers that came with the kit is just dry transfer. They don't have a copy of a water slide version, so I get to do dry transfers later too. I was not prepared for that. But, oh, smack the lamp for good luck. So yeah. Just going through this and uh, oh my god, there's so many of them. Let's just go head to toe, I suppose. So I need 38 and 39 first. So bring the main body out. Put the box inside. <laughs> yeah, pissed off as far too. Yeah, it's like, oh jeez. These are tiny water slides. These are smaller water slides that I used that I used in my high grade entry grade as my first streaming setup. So Yeah yeah. Need 38. Oh my god, it's gonna be the t it's gonna be the tiny one again. And what orientation do you go in? Uh, just parallel. Okay. This will be fun. We're gonna need two 38s and two 39s. Get the hobby knife. Does it look good? Yeah, they do. I couldn't find the official sheet. I couldn't find the official sh sheet, so this is the uh, Master Decal DL Model Shop um, sheet of transfers, third party. And uh, yeah, they seem good so far. No complaints. Only complaints is that, jeez, these are tiny. And in this case, of basically, I want to try to get all the decals on this as I can, because I want to try something new and I don't use the decal that much, so if the manual says there's a decal to go somewhere, I'm going to apply it, regardless of if it's going to show up or not on my paint scheme. We shall see what happens. Let me just get free you guys from this sheet very carefully. Slip. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, you love war size versus sticks decals. Yeah. I find stickers always peel. So I just never use stickers. I do my best to paint what I can. But then, of course, some of these tiny little detail bits, I can see where the appreciation of decals can come from. Some kids, I find, like, the decals are, like, too many. But, you know, this is for fun, for learning, and to just see how things work on stream. Yeah. And also, I just want to see how all these decals look against the color scheme I used, since some dark parts became light, light parts became dark. So, let's uh, see, see what happens. Oh my god, don't stop moving as I try to cut you. Eh. Hold it secure. Lightly score. Oh, scored into my nail. Lightly score. Yeah. So these are 39 for the right arm. So this is 38 for the left arm. Put you to the side. And separate you in half. Yep. And slice. There we go. Let me do the left shot first. I'll just slot both of you into the water. Dry this off on my pants leg because it's closer to me right now. I never claim to be an expert in this, just an enthusiast. All right, left shoulder. Where's my mark setter? Shake, shake. So it's somewhere this location. Close it. And now grab these tweet uh, no oh surface tension. Don't you betray me, surface tension. There we go. And orientation is text this way. Which is the more, this is the more wet one, is it? Yeah. Rotate. Here we go, got a grip on it. Okay, let us get you onto the model. Okay, you're on the model, perfect. Ugh. Now to align. You're pretty well aligned already, but just gotta be sure. Poke, poke. Oh, I can't believe. Whoa, this is actually aligned on its first go. It's a. Oh, holy shit, that aligned on the first go. Uh, okay, dry it off, dry it off. Dry it off before I screw it up. Tap, 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 tap. Just lightly, lightly tap. Okay. Wow, I cannot believe that just went straight on as needed. Double check, did I actually do, do it the right way? Yes, I did. Huh. Amazing. Yeah, the spacing looks correct. Yeah, cool. All right, let's do it for the other side. To slide. Come on out. Get out. Here we go. And go on the back of the left shoulder here. Uh, mark setter. Uh oh. Tightened it too tight. There we go. Dab, 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 dab. I bet I gave this two coats of cl uh, clear gloss just to make sure I don't go screwing up my surface below it. Uh, 
rotate you around. Okay. Now slide you onto the model. Okay, you're on the model. Backing went flying away, that's fine. Now to shift you in place. Oh my god, you just went in place. Really? Spacing okay? Hold on, no, you need to go a bit lower, a bit lower. Where? Ooh. Almost touching at the bottom. This is. He's come down a bit. Oh my god, there you go, you're in position. Dab it dry. Dab it dry. Dab it, dab it, dab it. Note to self, make a dab it emote. Dab, dab, dab. Note to self, make multiple dab emotes, maybe. Okay, so that is 38 dealt with. Let's do the 39s. Okay. Metal ruler. Need you to cut this. Snippy snip. Yeah. Donk. Slice. Ever. So. Carefully. Nice. Just pick you up. Yeah, nope, don't you flip. Don't you flip on me. Into the water. Up. Oh. Into the water. Cool. I dropped my damn entire cotton bud in the water. Well, this is going to be positioning cotton bud then. Let's get the mark setter. Dab it in the area. Get one of these in here. Yeah. And. Oh god. Positioning. Fat fingers on screen. Yeah. Slide. 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 Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, off, you off. Pick you up carefully. In position carefully. Down a bit, down a bit. Now rotate, rotate, rotate slightly, please. Need more water. Up a bit. There we go. Okay. Ooh, too far down. Up, up, up. 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 Okay. Slightly. Yeah, you need to rotate. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Rotated. Get rotated. And then absorb. Oh, crap. I got my other th thing where it's wet. Oh, crap. Another cotton bud. Just need, need them dry. Careful, careful. Carefully touch and dab. Okay. Alright. And for the next one. Pick up. Come on. There we go. No, look, I need to remember, I need to ugh, mark set it first, then pick it up. Because I'm one-handed here. Down, where I go. Doom. Uh, come on. Carefully. Grab it by the itsy-bitsy tips of my nails. Get a wet cotton bud. Slide you off onto the piece. 
Come on. Come on, slide. You're not sliding off. There we go. Okay. Positioning time. Time to position. Rotate it. Get rotated. Slide you down. Uh, down a bit, down a bit. Ooh, okay. Very close. I think close enough, actually. Gonna get a slight rotation on you. Need a bit more wet. Come on, give me, give me a good rotation. There we go. Got that rotation I wanted. Wet you again. You need to rotate slightly. Yep. Come on. Rotate. Are you rotating? Not quite, but I think you're good enough. Dry. Alright, the first four shoulder decals are on. Next up, let us see. Got 38, 39s. Two decals going to go on the back of the head. No, three go on the back of the head. Oh, no, that's the back of the collar. Back of the head, okay, fine. We're going to do the back of the head then. Shroop. That's the back of the head, below the sen- just next to the panel lines by the sensors, okay. So that is 48, 49. 48, 49. Oh Jesus, these tiny ones again. Alright, fine, 48 on the left, 49 on the right. A bunch to the side. I need to cut more of these out. 14, 49. Cut down. Shift over. Cut down. And then across. Nope. And zoop. Yeah, yeah. Put this to the side. Punch out. Yep. Yep. He slice in. No, oh, did you fall away from me? Slice this in half. Slice, slice, very good, there we go, cool, now let's just lift you up, so black one is 39, no 49, the black one is 49, so that's the one on the right side, let's do that on, let's do the one on the right first, Bonk. Let me just get both of these in the water, though. Okay, head. Shake. Fly that mark setter in location. Let's grab black one. Yeah. Wet cotton bud to 
pull it off the piece. Yeah. Ooh. Knife. Stay away. Slide, slide, slide. Okay, it's off. Pick you up carefully. Dampen and rotate. Get rotated. Alright, that looks good. Yep. Where's the dry one? Where's my dry one? Here it is. Dab dry. Uh oh. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Carefully reposition. There you go. Up a bit. Up a bit. Up a little bit. Okay. No, you rotated. No, now you rotated again. Careful. Careful. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I'm liking this. I need to just let you try. Tap, tap. Okay. One water slide on. Now for the second one. Go on. Get back here. And you go this way. Uh, shit, how am I going to get you out? Like this, I suppose. Ooh, 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 ooh. All the way. There we go. Alright, let's continue. You need to position further down. You need to rotate a bit. A bit closer to the panel. There we go. Uh, you're not quite straight. Up a bit, up a bit. Okay. Dry, dry one, dry one. Tap, 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 tap. Nope, pull you up a bit, pull you up a bit. You were not supposed to move. Up a bit, up a bit, up a bit. Uh, nope, too far up. Rotate. There we go. Okay. Carefully, carefully dab. There we go. Head water slides are on place. And there's one on the back of the collar. Number four. Bottom right of the collar. Thankfully I know number four is going to be one of the bigger ones. Yes. <laughs> Thankfully it's one of the bigger ones. Alright, number four. Uh, put a head next to the camera so I can see what I'm cutting. Little slice so L slice so not exactly straight but good enough and then down and down Punch! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Get out. There we go. To the side. Ooh. Come back. Into the water you go. As you absorb. Mark setter time. Dab, dab, dab. You got bottom right here. Slightly generous. Donk. And then 
positioning. X is on the left. Uh oh. No, 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 no. There we go. Come back here. Let me pick you up. Let me pick you up. Good. Wet cotton bud. Time to pull you off onto collar. It, it, it. Good. All right. Position, position. Ooh, boy. Come on. It. No. Further up. No, you're supposed to be further down, actually. Down there. Straighten you out a bit. Straighten. There we go. Say good enough. So now for the dry. We absorb. Dab. Dabbing carefully. Dabbing carefully. Just drying it up. Nothing to move. You're in a good position. Dab, dab, dab. Dab it up. Note to self, dab it up, emote when. There we go. Alright, put it aside. What's next? What's next? One and two, okay, on the shoulders. I can do that. Flip you around the front again. One and two on both sides of the shoulders. How nice. Let's start off with number number one. Seems to be the easiest. <gasps> Pick up. The dust carefully cut. Carefully cut, like so. Little slice. Then, like this. Rotate again. Slice along the top here. This can be a. This will be a long, real long water slide here. It'll be interesting to apply. All the way down, and the edge here. Slice. Cool. Let's punch this one out first. Free yourself. There we go. So this is number one. Number one goes like this. Oh, my all the focus is going crazy <laughs> as I do this. It just fits along that line there. Okay. Water. Ooh. Okay. You need to poke into the water slightly. Oop. Get damp. Yep. There we go. So we're going on left shoulder, so let me this back and apply a good amount on the left shoulder. Well it was right shoulder on my left side. What the hell? All this stringy hair stuck to the end of this. Okay, clean that up. Just go all the way along the shoulder here. Yep, need a bit more. There. Okay, here's the fun part. Getting a really long water slide onto the shoulder. Pick you up. 
Okay. Holding it like so. Get the wet cotton bird and slide. Okay. It's on the shoulder. Now to position. Get it down to the edge. Oh, this is an easy position. Yeah, that just fits on so nicely. Dry. Dab it. Okay. Nice. Seems a bit bumpy. Let me try the softer. Oh, God. Don't smack my... Lamp off. Shake, shake. Ugh. Let's just soften this edges of this one. Dab, dab, dab. Just dabbing along. Go. Hope that melt down. And let that evaporate. We work on the next shoulder. Number number two, I guess. Yeah, number two. So number two. Let me get you cut out. Very straight along. Rotate. Angle. Cut along. And tip yeah. get the other tip yeah okay punch out it's a punch out there we go you're not punching out as easy as I thought oh there we go never mind there we go yeah this backing strong and into the water. Get in the water. Get in the water. There we go. Wait, stop loosening. Oh, it's setter time. Soft, no, softer than. No, not softer. Setter. All along. Noise. Tate. Ah, got to pick you up again. Get. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. There we go. All right. Tate. Try this off a bit. Paper! Come on, paper. There we go. Okay, let us shift you on to the shoulder. Slide. Nice and neat. Okay, pick you up. Get you in position. Uh, 
Uh, uh, flatten down over here along the edge, please. Uh, oop. Come on. Even out, please. Stay straight and even. No, come on. The other shoulder went so low. Well, you can... You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, 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 oh. almost, almost. Uh... Closer. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Need to try. Corner one. Try carefully along the way. position okay I think you're good this side needs absorption carefully roll it off Come down further. There we go. Nope, up a bit, up a bit. There we go. Stretch. Need to flatten out along the edge here. That's a good. Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a good position. Closer to the edge, please. There we go. Okay. That position is good. Ugh. Softer time. Yep. Carefully. Yep. <gasps> no. Come back up. Come back up. Okay, okay, okay. Need to fix you. Need to fix you. Straighten. There we go. Straighten up. Okay, you're straightened. So you got pulled away a bit. Get back to that edge. There we go. All right. Well, flatten out. Flatten out. Please. Need another dry cotton bud. I'm going through so many just because I need it to be dry. If I, I can keep using them after they dry, so all is good. Dab away. We'll roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll them. Roll out. Okay, jeez. That one caused me a bit of trouble. Right. 
Maybe I should just go with all the f front. Let me go do all the front decals first. When those dry, I can go to the back decals after. So I need a 9 and 10. Okay, a 9 and 10. Yep. Tissue to the side. 9, 10, 9, 10. Whoa. But don't you get everything wet now. Do not betray me. Alright, 9 and 10. 9 is here. Where is... Where's 10? 9... See, 11... 8... 9... I'm looking all over. What is 10? Ten is a Zaft symbol. With writing on it. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, seven. Hmm. Let's see. Ten is a small round symbol with Zaft. Okay. Round symbol with Zaft. Wait, what? Is it missing the Zaft symbol here? Does this have not a, not have a number ten? There's the eleven. That was a slightly different. Hmm. Interesting. The third party set doesn't have doesn't have number ten's decal on it. Or is it mislabeled? Okay, note to self, look back at number ten and see why it's not there. But now let's go on to number nine, since we have number nines. Okay, carefully. Slice. Slice. Then slice up. One, two, so then slice to the side. Oh god. Slice straight, please. Thankfully I didn't cut into the decal just yet. And down. You out. Okay, so we're going to be doing left shoulder. Stick you in the water. And you are left shoulder below the piece here. Get my oh, smack the camera for good luck, as always. Out of the water, please. Please. Please, come on. No. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Got ya. I yeah, got ya. And onto the shoulder you go. Okay, this is a tight fit, which is actually good then. Can't really go wrong with this. Let me just slide you in here. Uh, 
Um. Oops. Just around about here, looks like, is good. Yeah, it's tight fit, so basically it can't really rotate the wrong way. So I need to now dry this off. Rotate. Roll it. Dab it. Roll it. There we go. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Just go straight in place. Nice. We're doing we're doing well. We're doing well. So number ten, that's a bit disappointing. But I don't wait. Because I'm gonna probably forget. Where's that scrap paper I have? Here you go. Don't want scrap paper. Scrap paper, where did you go? Are you the scrap paper? Yes, you are. Let me tear this paper off a bit. Shoop. Shoop. Tear. Then let me get my pen. Okay, just... Here we go. I have this peg somewhere nearby. So... Note... To self. Check. Water. Slide. Number 10. Um. Make. Dab it up. Emote. There we go. Remind us of myself. I'll just put this off to the side. There. Okay, let us continue. It's 9, 10, 52 above the cockpit. Okay, 52. Get 52. It's going to be a tiny one. Yes, it is. Okay, 52. Ugh, real tiny one. Do vertical cut. Vertical cut. Carefully. Horizontal. And a horizontal. There. There we go. Punch. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Scoop. This is freaking tiny. I can, I can barely see it right now. Camera yeah, definitely can't see it. I can barely see it. I can't even tell which way is up on this. I mean, they get it wet, because I know when it gets wet, the backing is easy to see against the backing. Ugh, ooh, whoa, don't shake about too much. Smack the camera for good luck. Okay, I think I know which way it goes. Let us prepare the suit. Mark setter. This goes at the top of the collar. So, round about here. Close that up. All right. Come on. Surface tension, you are not helping me. Is he going in this way? Need a wet tip. Ugh. Slide. 
slide in place. There we go. Okay. It's on. It's on. Now to position it. Almost. There we go. It's flat and centered. Okay, dry it up. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah, yes it is. And it's straight, yes it's straight. Cool. Yep. Okay. So there's neck, collar, blah blah blah, da, get a tiny one on the cockpit door number so 50 on the cockpit door all right that's the door itself yeah <gasps> 50 that's a tiny one I know yep tiny little 50 okay careful now slice Slice. And then slice down the side. And slice down this side. Yeah. There we go. Let's punch. Ooh, okay, thankfully nothing damaged there. Yeah. Into the water. Get the set. Ugh. You stay. Get the setter. Just above the hatch door. Near the bend. Let's see this. Okay, see. So flat side up. Easy to do. Oh. Easier said than done. Let's. Get this onto the tweezers. Go on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Sideways. Now take very carefully slide your on. Okay, it's on. It's on. The water tried already. I can fix that. Just make it wet again. Slide. Okay. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Sliding up carefully now. All right. Now to center this without rotating it. And I've already rotated it. What? Oh, I think that's good. Uh, you centered? Not quite. Oh, now you are. Get rotated ever so slightly. Oh, you're off center now. Ah, you're off center again. Get wet. It no. Rotate. Oh god, too much water. Oh, you are way too far over now. Come on, slide your back in here. There we go. Make it centered. Oh god. Oh god. I think you're centered. No, you're not. Ever so slightly not. Get 
Wait, are you? Wait a second, I have a ruler. Let me see. Plumber Bill Report, what up? Center to center, off center to center, off center, yep. <laughs> Welcome to the thing. Let's see, hold on. On cam it looks centered? Welcome to the stream, Plumber Bill Report. Y you're saying we have fun trying to center a bloody decal on the cockpit hatch. Let me see. Hold it center. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Is it actually centered? One, two, three. I think it's actually centered. Okay. Alright, not oh god, I need to try it. Uh okay, this is try. Right. Just dab and a dab. Okay, never touch it again. We're never touching you again. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, J Spot. Ugh, jeez. This is my only my second time actually applying water decals. My first time was with an entry game with some generic decals, and it was like, oh, just put on the shoulder. Close enough. This time I'm going to try to use as many as I can. Although, as I found out, this third party decal set I have, num number 10, which goes on the left shoulder, does not appear to be in the sheet. So, hmm, figure that out later. Find an alternative. So, 50, so then next coming down is 19 and 24 on the side skirt pieces. Let's start on the left, so that's going to be 24. 24. 24. Here we go. Oh, wait. It actually numbers the dragoons. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Decaling is freedom. Yep. I paid a price in blood. Well, thank not yet at least. Yep. Nice. Each dragoon is actually numbered with the decals. That's a neat little feature. At least these ones are much bigger, so I can get a better grip on them. Oh, cut up, cut up, cut, come on, cut, yeah, and across, there we go, come on, pick it up, pick it up, yeah, work it out, work it out. Get. Come on. Get. There we go. So that was another J spots at work. What are you doing up right now, Plamo? Is it still Labor Day weekend? Dab, dab, dab. Working on anything fun? Okay, there you go. You're in the water, so wait. Which way does this go? In the center here, okay. Simple enough. Uh, setter. Normal work day, haha. <laughs> yep, I know the feeling. Mine was also a normal work day. Uh, ah, there's a little notch here which I think I can use to help align the decal when I put it in. Nope. So I need to pick you up now. Uh, yeah, 11. Wait, this decal looks different. Go on, let me pick you up. 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 Uh, there we go. Rotate. And the wet cotton bud to slot it in. Luckily, still work from home. Damn, that's nice. I wish I had work from home still. Yeah. Okay, go on. slide, slide off. Okay, get it get out of the way. Good. Time to position this ever so carefully. 
ever so... Okay, I need to dry it off a bit. Yeah, the little, there's a small little raised bump on the side skirt that the water side can just hook onto and be in position. Which is quite nice. Yeah, I just push the water side straight up against that bump. And it's pretty much in position. Just gotta straighten it a bit. Yeah. I have to dry it off. Uh huh. Cool. Look, looks good. Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good. It's got extra bits detail to it compared to what the official seems to be. Where's the official one? Actually, no, it looks the same. Hmm, okay. Oh, it has a little extra red dot at the bottom, that's all. That's fine. That red dot's near the edge, though, so let me just quickly do a bit of a dab of softer on this. Dab. Okay. What is it? Yeah, building PowerPoint around conversations. I appreciate you streaming now. Helps brain relax. Yeah, no problem, man. I usually stream around this time because of my time zone and whatnot, because this is when I get home after work. Well, all the way. Yep. If I work from all the way, I'd be able to just do my emotes and shiz. It's like last week or so, as I've been doing this Providence build, I've been like streaming daily, trying to finish it up with some random game streams, but I was like, no, I think I need to shift to alternate days because otherwise I have no time to actually like, you know, work on emotes for the channel or adjust my camera settings and whatnot. Plus, for some reason, my exposure values in this area vary wildly on my uh, Logitech stream cam. But I find my phone, it just adjusts automatically and it just works, so... I'm wondering if it's, is it the resolution issue or just a weird sensor issue between it. So yeah, other side is going to be 19. Water slide 19. Number six. Okay. Yep. And right now I'm just doing all the front decals first. I'll let those dry now. Flip to the back. Six there. What's well, other thing is that this third party decal set I have, it doesn't have a copy of the dry transfers. And the shield uses like three or four of them, so this build is going to force me to use dry transfers for the first time. Bizarre. Better time than any. For, uh, the first time on stream. Yeah. Yeah, man. In across. No service. Use logic I two two C, but phone does much better. Yeah, like the, I got this one because it can do ten eighty p sixty. Because I wanted to have this like recording area nice and smooth as I'm painting and stuff. But white the exposure value and sometimes the focus isn't that good, or like the lighting's weird. While my phone just boom just takes the picture no problem. This one's what's what's this one's called? I think it's just called Logitech Stream Cam. It's that like small cubic cube one. I've got I had the cheaper Logitech 720, the really cheap Logitech 720 um, webcam for my face tracking, but recently it's just not. It like turns off by itself after a few minutes, and so instead I got on discount this. Um, Asus travel cam thing and uh, it bounces nicely and it's been reliable it's not crashed on me since yeah it'll turn on it'll track for like five to ten minutes then just turn off 
This off. VTube Studio will even think it's turned off. I'll have to deactivate, reactivate it repeatedly. And I've not had that issue with this with the stream cam or this Asus one. Yeah, this Asus one actually I use it for my tracking because its picture quality in low light area is shit. It needs a lot of light. But supposedly it's meant for laptops, so you can like clamp it onto a laptop easily and it folds up flat, like so. Replaceable type C adapt cable. It's like it's meant for portability. But in my case it's ten eighty it's a ten eighty P tracker. It was on 50% discount at the shop, and it does the job just fine. Yeah, unless it falls off. Hmm. Logitech has been O2 Stream since 2008. Yeah. I said, this was a Logitech Stream Cam. But then. Ugh. Actually, I put it right here. Pull it. Put it around and see. It's not even plugged in anymore. Yeah, this is what I used to use for tracking cam, but this one just every five to ten minutes turns off, as if it's off. It's like what the heck? Your Log I trusted your Logitech. I even just tried to turn it on as a regular webcam for testing, and even in regular webcam mode, like with a, ca a camera app open, it just turns off. It's like fucking hell. I've had this for so long. I had this at PMW even. It was fine, and suddenly it's not fine. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe it might be the cable, but then, of course, with this one, the cable's integrated in. So I can't exactly just, well, okay, I can cut and replace the cable if I want, but that's going to be an adventure in itself. And then reinstating and shit. I think it, it works, and when I deactivate and reactivate the camera again, it just works back to normal. For another five to ten minutes. So, yeah, that's one mystery I need to solve. If this is another case of I need that time to try to finish up, finesse my setup and stuff, but at the same time, I'm using my time to make content and actually finish my builds. So, yeah, I need time to do things, but I don't have the time to prep for things. Yeah. Okay, that's what? Where? Okay, yeah, go. You're in the water. Let's head off to the next. Ew. Water slide. There's never any cycle of time and space. Uh, where's my setter? Let us dab you here. Cool. Yeah, maybe it's dying. Uh, I really hope he's not dying, but again. I don't have the time to try to troubleshoot it further than I already have. And I had the backup one anyway on 50% discount. Like, I ain't gonna say no to 50% off on an Asus device. Might not be the top spec, but it's gonna be reliable still. Alright. Oh, God. This is when being left handed would be useful. Slide. I can't even see past my own fingers. Get, get off the backing. There we go. All right. Time to position you. Uh, maybe I should, because these aren't exactly centered. I maybe I should center it actually. I think this is better centered. So let me. Yeah, I think I want these centered instead. That means number eleven. I need to reactivate number eleven again, and shift it. And my number eleven. Reactivate, please. There we go. So you shift slightly. Slide. Number 11, slide to damn you. Really? Number 11 doesn't want to move? Uh oh. I think I just committed myself to the positioning. Yep, okay, I'm committed to that positioning. Fine. Ooh. Alright, fine. Oh god. Number 6, come back. 
though I, I'm committed to this position style. Oh god. Too much water. Absorb it. Now let me reposition you ever so carefully. Okay. So you are going to be aligned with the side here. Ooh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, wait. Yes? No, maybe? Hold on. Does this look even? Sort of does. Yeah. Now that looks even. The red dot near the bottom. That's fine. Okay. Absorb away. Absorb away. Nice and carefully. Cool. Yeah, okay, sure, I've committed this way. What brand of third party was slides? Um, these are um, Master Decal. Uh, there we go, Master Decal from DL Hobby Shop. Think for DL, DL Model Shop, DL Decal, you'll find it. I see they have a lot of uh, Amazon and AliExpress and eBay listings, and they have physical stores here where I am. So I was like, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, here, here it is. DL Model Decal. Designed by Mod well, DL Model Decal. I couldn't find I couldn't find the officials, so I went, okay, I'll get the third party one. And they just they have third party for everything. It's like they actually they already released the third party for RG God Gundam. I can't even find the kit, but I can get the third party water slides. <laughs> Oh so, yeah, that's fun. Hold on, are you not dry yet? Dab, dab it, dab it, dab it up. Oh wait, I need to do the softer because that's on a slight bump ridge there. Boop, boop. Oh no, oh no, oh crap, the softer moved it. I am you softer, you have betrayed me. Okay. Alright, you look similar positioned. Slowly dab it away. Dab it up, dab it up. Dab it up. Okay. Oh, the softer almost betrayed me. Yeah, I want to kick the, 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 the revive. Yeah, it's like when it arrived here, like the shops had it, sold out within an hour. I had no chance to even get there to find it. And now they're up, there's the upcoming RG Gal Gaigar, which is like, oh my god. The only reason it might not sell out immediately is because it's going to be so expensive, probably. <laughs> is this the word incorrect? Hold on. Can I shift you slightly? Nope, you're committed. No, 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 that's correct. It's because it's just not mirror image. Cool. Okay. Those ones are done. Yeah, I'm look I actually, I have the high-grade God Gundam and the high-grade that high-grade build, fighters, battle log, one with the feet. I want to bash those together on the stream one day. Because, you know, why not have the God Finger and God Feet together and maybe see what I can do with that. But, you know, the RG be the RG. It'd be cool. But also I still have, I have like the the RG high new still in backlog to finish. Let's see, so I need 46 and 46 on the arms. 44, 45 on the front skirting. So let's do the arms X. 46, 46. Let me guess, they're gonna be the small ones. 40. Yep, it's gonna be the small ones. Shift you to the side. Need two of the 46s. My impromptu ruler. Noif. Let's free up two of these. Shoop. And. One. 
and a two. And let's cut down here as well. Slice. That is not a straight slice at all. And one more over here. Slice. Side and continue. Just built RG High New and submitted for the competition. Hope you really enjoyed it. Nice. In fact, here's the funny part. I have the RG High New Gundam. I built something else already though. I got the third party RG Mega Launcher for it. That looks like the one from the game. I already built it. So I have this Mega Launcher Cannon ready. I just don't have the suit itself ready. And this thing is fucking long! This is RG scale, and it's taller than the Providence! Ugh. Yeah. Also, you can see how it's really, been, it's really dusty as well. It's been on my shelf for a little bit. Also, I've been working on this. Somehow, it's taken me three weeks of streaming to paint this up. I don't know how the time went like that, but whatever. But that means my shelf has gotten a little bit dusty since I last did a build. <laughs> so, yeah. Oops, a daisy. I also have somewhere off to the side the third party heavy weapon system for the high RG High New. So, you know, it's gonna have the Mega Launcher and the heavy weapon system. The one that looks like a striker pack. Do I have that? Oh, it is under a stack of things. Okay, I'm not gonna pull that out. But yeah, it's gonna have heavy weapon system and it's gonna have Mega Launcher. And if I get my way, it's also going to be painted the blue parts painted back to that um, purple color the original High New or the other High New art has. Because I like that purplish color better. And I did not separate these two slides apart from each other. Great. Well, that is just YOLO with what I have. Let us see. Mark that is here. Below the vent. It, come on. There we go. Tighten it. Now you need to get one of these off the backing. And which ang which direction does it go? Red light. Red line above it. Okay. Can I separate these two? Ooh. Yes. You go back, back in the water. And you get ready to slide on to the piece. You sl oh my god, you almost slid right off already. Okay. Packing. Get out of there. Yeah, dry my hands. Painted up to be soul bad guy from Guilty Gear Strive and Kit Bash's sword and fin funnels with the P Bandai Mega Bazooka. Noise! Yeah, I was thinking the P Bandai one, but it's like, I liked the old style better. The P Bandai one doesn't seem to fit the aesthetic, in my opinion. It seemed like too. It seemed more double O style, honestly, with like those big capacitors and stuff around it. So like I, I haven't actually gone through the novels or read the thing, read the version with the high new in it, but I, I just like that novel version of the Mega Cannon. It's simple to the point and plugs in. Just what's meant to be. Yep, come on, center yourself. Get centered. There we go. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's centered. So, some careful application of softer on this. Yep, very careful, dabby dab. There we go. Oh, wait. Other one. Wait. Why did I apply that decal? This arm gets covered by the shield anyway. I forgot. This left arm is completely covered by the shield. I'm not going to see that decal anymore. Oh well. Oh well, at least we know it'll be there. And hold on, did I not clean this part off properly? Hold on. Where's my enamel thinner? I think there's a slight panel I didn't clean up fully. 
Uh, wipe it down. This arm here. Yeah, I forgot to clean you off. Okay, hold on. There we go. Absorb it. There we go. Fixed it. I will know, yes. I will know that there's a decal under there that I will never see again. Okay, come on. Ooh, nice. Picked up in one go. Uh, set up. Step it on. Close. Move these out of the way. Okay. There you go. Let us try to get... Uh oh. No, 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 no. Do not stick to my finger. Let's just get you off the backing first. Onto the piece. Almost. Almost. Come on. Come on. Get off there. Okay. Try my fingers. Let us get you nicely positioned. Rotate. Oh, oh wow. Okay, this alignment is going really well. Oh yeah, that aligned perfectly. Soften it before I forget. Dab, dab. Lightly dab it. Lightly dab it. Dabby dab. Okay. Give that a moment. Let me dry dab this off. Carefully dry dab this off. Focus this with me. Yeah, actually, from here, like, my autofocus, when I'm holding the piece at this height in particular, is when it's got the best color axing focus. Even though it's supposed to have a wider zoom range and stuff, down here, in my look back, my VODs seems kind of a bit washed out. And of course, up too close, it just never focuses right at all. Ugh. For the, there we go. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Oop. Yeah, also, I'm not sure on the stream. I'm not sure if on the stream you can see this right or not, but um, the eye, the green eyes in the Gundam, I really can't see from any of my preview monitors or screens the green eyes in the Gundam. But my camera. Any picture, flash, no flash, no lights, you can see the eyes without issue. So sorry about my phone's camera, it's just better in the picture quality or picture pickup. Like, can I try to get the eyes visible? Yeah, it have to be like, here, yeah, like this weird angle, it's just for the eyes to be visible. So I've got a lot of experimenting and shiz to figure out for this still. <laughs> anyway, so off the arms, I have to do some front skirtings and some legs. And then it's on to the back. Oh, it's on the sides. So 44 and 45. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, 44 and 45 is next. Also, I don't think I'm going to finish this night. I just thought it's going to be 11.20 already. It's taking me so long to get not very far. <laughs> it's because I spent so much time realigning things. So this is 
Uh, 44, 45. Here. Yeah. Oh, slice across. Blink. Hold on. Titan. Titan, Titan, Titan. Cool. Slice. Slice. Okay, let's go with 45 first, since I'm going to slice it out first. Okay, it did not slice out. Slice. Perfect. Eh. Into the water. And then, so where excited does this go? On the f upper front skirt, just above the triangle. Okay. Upper front skirt, just above the triangle. Oh. Dab dab. Tweezers. Grab this. Put this sheet away first. And... Oh god, which way does it go? Text underneath it, okay. Take everything. So I can more easily do this. It only takes to do, it, they all do all the decaling. Yeah. It's like, it took me almost an entire stream just to do all the damn panel lighting on the backpack. Like, damn, this is one heck of a detailed kit. Like, I've done, I painted up and decaled and you know, detailed up high grades. This is my first time doing a master grade and, oh boy. It's not so much difficult as in it's just got a lot more to do relatively. Oh, come on, really? Fine. Hold you with my fat fingers and try to slide you off like this. Eh. Okay, Ooh, okay, whoa, whoa, okay, you're on. You're in position. You want you're on the piece, now that you're in position. Keep it as straight as possible. Okay, dry you off. Roll. Okay. Now I need to make it even and do it on the other side. So, 44. Yeah. Here was I hyped up my stream and everything. It's like, yeah, come join the stream tonight, everybody. I'm gonna finish it tonight! Yeah, bullshit. Ain't that ain't happening at this rate. That means I might be able to finish the weekend. Wait, cockroach, get out of here. Tiny! Go away. Not sure if that was on camera or not, but uh, yeah, tiny cockroach is calling on my glove. Do not appreciate. There we go. Mark setter time. And on this side, or this, no, no, up here. Whoops, wrong location. Well, rotate you this way now. Let us get this up and out. There we go. Those can help do you kind of too. Yeah, I'll just leave little tiny footprints or just splat. Oh. Ah, but yeah, I'm, it was right there and I missed it. It's still alive. It's going around somewhere back behind that tray. Uh -oh, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I've had, had some roaches appearing recently. Don't know why. Like the other day during D&D, a large one went crawling across my desk, 
between my arm and starts using the keyboard and typing. It's like, you bold little fucker. Did you not think I'd see you right under my nose? There we go. Eh. Right. Disposition, yeah? As evenly as possible. Down a bit. Down a bit. Okay, that's looking good. You need to rotate slightly, I think. There we go. Ooh, okay, that positioned pretty well, I think. Do you need to go down a bit again? I don't think so. Maybe you do. Maybe a little bit down. Yep. Okay, that's good, that's good. Absorb it. Ah, oh, no! I moved it as absorbing. Oh, that, okay, fine. 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 Be like that. Rotate a bit. Push down a bit. More hands make this work, yep. Yeah. Are you even? Is it just the angle? Looking carefully. Come down ever so slightly. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, too far down. Up a bit. Uh, we're comparing the lines. Looks close enough. Hold on. Oh, 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 wait a second. This is looking good. Okay, this is looking good. To my cross-eyed eyes. Okay, don't touch that anymore. I'll say that's good. Okay, so then now... Is... 11 and 3 on the lower part of the skirts. 11 and 3. 11 is as big zaft Z. Okay. And then 3 is like a camo pattern. Let's just get this but and cut oh oops cut cut cool and then across Punch. There we go. Oh god, did I get part of this wet? Yes, I did. Uh. Okay, now deal with that later. Worst case is I could just get the second sheet of it since the shop had a bunch of them. And it's so close to my office anyway. Right, mark setter onto the lower left skirt. Let me just get some debris here, wipe it away. Yeah. 
lower left skirt. So I'll just put a bunch there first. And where's my tweezers go? Here they are. Pick you up. And slide you in position. Right on. Okay. And this is just supposed to be centrally located. Oh, and this is actually upside down. Rotate. Thankfully, it's wet enough to rotate. Uh, okay, I see how to align this. And I'm lined with the crotch line here. Straighten it. Straighten it. Oops. Come a bit. You know, actually, you look straight already. Yep. Oop. No. Okay, that's good enough. Absorb. Carefully. Cool. Okay, got the Wizard of Oz Z on the skirt now. Wait, is that straight? Can't tell because it's everything's angled so slightly. You know, maybe if it's not straight, there's so many angles here, it's gonna look straight anyway. God, man, no problem, man. Catch you around, J Spot. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, wouldn't mind a follow if you have a chance. Everyone that one counts, and uh, yeah. As always, you can catch me at my Twitter and stuff. And I will be streaming a lot more, although probably alternate days now, just so I can try to spend time figuring out my background shiz. Yeah, again, thanks for coming. It's an honor to have you. Uh, number three next. Number three. Oop. Number three. Slice. And slice here. Carefully. Carefully. Cool. Oop. And into the water you go. Mark setter is going to be on this side. La 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 la. Seal it. Now, let us see. Which direction? Doesn't quite matter, actually. Oop. Oh, ah, here we, here we go. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, oh boy. Fine, I'm gonna finger this one as well. Eep. Rotate you around. And then slot you on. Get. Drop my hand. Let me know if I'm breathing into my microphone, by the way. My mic keeps going close to my nose. And that just is just... Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, that is just here. As is. Let me see. No. It is not. It is 180 degrees rotated. Rotate around 180. There we go. Because one of these little hexes has some text in it, apparently. There we go. 
sort of that. So now this needs to very carefully dry off. Rotate. No, 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 no. You stay. You stay right where there, you little bastard. I see you jiggling about. There will be no jiggle physics on this model. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Straight enough, flat enough. Following you others right up. No. Where's my other try? One. This one. Yeah. Dabby dab. Just dry everything off. Nice. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. This is a lot more decals than I'd normally put, but you know. Let's have some fun for once. Well, I always have fun. Let's have some fun with this and just use them all. Use all that the manual say to use at least. Then we'll go from there. So I have five and six along the lower edge. Okay, five and six. Here. Mm hmm. These, these will conform to an edge, so this will be easy. Cut. And then cut. Rotate. Another cut. Yeah. Careful now. And then across. Very carefully. Here we go, number five. Whoop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, woo. Come on. Come on. Backing. Alright, the backing is being a bit stubborn. Oh, one of my cotton buds went flying away. Slide. Wait, and you free yourself on this side. Back down here again. There we go. There we go. Yeah. And into the water. You get to the side. The so number five is on this left skirt here, so yeah, the mark setter. This pick you up from the water. Yeah, we go. And we're going in like this. Slide. It's two pieces. Oh, you bastards! You didn't say it was two pieces. Okay. They cheated. The decal is in two halves with the same number. I need to actually take extra care now with this. Let's get to the edge. Okay. Right to the edge if I can. Right, is that how it's supposed to be? No, it's centered between the two gaps here. It. 
Okay. It's as centered as I can get it. And the rest of this decal has to go on the side. Let's sl slide you in. Okay. Damp it. Then you need to get aligned just right. Like so. Oops. No one. Align. You're touching that black bit, so maybe this one has to touch the black bit as well. Yeah, that looks better. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. On, dry you up a bit. Uh, shove these as close to the edge as I can here. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. Come back down here to the edge. And you shift over here to the edge. There we go. That looks smooth enough. Get that hair out of there. Okay. Ooh, that was a tricky positioning. I did not want that. That would be two separate decals. Oh, is that positioning? Okay. No, it's not. Bring the light to my advantage to see the edgings. That edge there. Nope, come on, back up. And then down a bit, down a bit. Okay, that's an even edge. And that's an even edge. Okay, let that just let that evaporate and dry first. And do the same on this side. Ooh. Sneaky sneaky. Number six. Slice. And slice. It again. Dab some more water where I shouldn't go. And slice here. Water. Get my mark setter. Applied in position. And all right. Oh boy. Let us get one to the side. Take you this way, and I just slide you on. Flip on me. Okay. Back up right. Okay, let's position this boy. Yeah, smack the camera in my head for good luck. Go and have lunch, have fun decaling. Yep, catch ya, man. Thanks for coming so far. 
Appreciate the luck. In the shadows. No one can hear your scream in the lurkings. Okay, now let me just get you aligned in a similar way as the other side. Looking good. Angle right? Not really. Shove you up a slightly there. And up a bit. Up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, okay. There we go. You're shoved. You'll be shoved. Dry. Carefully, carefully. Okay, let's get the rest of you on here. Get wet. Let's get you in position. Okay. Twist. Rotate. Align with the piece here. A bit, a bit out. Rotate. Try it. Need to get slightly tilted. There we go. Try it. Carefully. Roll it. Roll it. Very good. Good look. Even. Hey, nudge. There we go. Okay. Looks even enough. Okay, okay. They use some softer, just help those. Oh, oh no, that is not even actually. I just, I just saw you get shifted. Do not betray me like that. Yeah. You thought you could betray me and screw up my detailing, could you? There we go. That is uh, almost in position. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. That's a bit. Yes, like that. Careful, dabby dab. Okay. Softer time. Just. And. Careful, lightly dab. Light dabs. Just to help everything stick here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, stretch a bit. Uh, ten minutes to midnight. Okay, let me see. What? I I can finish the front. I can finish the front by midnight. I just have two more, 47s, and then the others are dry transfers. 47s. These small white ones. Okay, cool. Let's see, 47s. Here we go. Slice. 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 Okay. 
I'm getting wet spots all over this decal sheet as I go. I need, I need a bigger working area, but I don't... I can't get a bigger working area, fortunately. So there we go. Carefully. Slice this in half. There. Alright. You both go into the water. One of you flipped over. Perfect. Alright, let me see. Go. A closer look at this. There's a warning sign with a triangle facing down. That's on the darker grey knee area. Okay, okay. Get you. Come on. Yet. Yet. Yeah, man. Uh, come on. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. I just finger tap it. Nope. All right. Tweezers. Come on. Nope. Come on. Oh god, it's on my finger. Okay, 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 okay. The decal is literally on my finger. We have to do a transfer from my finger straight to the piece. Come on. There we go. Okay. Ooh. That's a bit of a scare for a moment. Alright, so you're upside down, so you need to rotate. Just a pokey poke. There we go. Let's start drying this off. And now position. Nice and even. Yeah. bit. You are centered. You got a little gap. Okay, let's dry. Cool. One side done, now for the other. Dab the setter. Alright, which one of you was it again? Probably the smaller one. Nope, there was a bigger one, right here. There we go. Got it. My fat fingers and slide you in place. Oh, okay. Now for positioning. Actually, dry it off a bit first. Now position. Actually, very closely positioned already. Gonna flatten your position out. Good, you're already centered. Oh, wow, you are already in position. Uh, nope, you're slightly off center. No, rotate it down. There we go. There we go. Nope, up a bit, up a bit. On the side, rotate. There. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. All right, knee decals are done. Wait, is that a spot? Hold on. Please tell me I didn't miss that spot when I was top coating. Oh, thank God that was on top of the top coat layer, not below it. Good. 
And dry transfer's number five. Do I wanna try dry transfer tonight? I don't really wanna. Goes on like that. Tape it in place. And then you just do it. You know what? Maybe let's just try it for the heck of it. You know, YOLO. Well, let me get some scissors or no no no. Rotate it this way. Just cut the dry transfer. One. Okay, apparently you can't cut the dry transfer. Just gotta commit to it. Can I? Oh, yes I can, it's just thick. Right. Put here. And then cut across here. Then this is going to need masking tape to hold it in place. Let me use my thin masking tape. Better secure than sorry. Position that. Tape it down. We position the other side and tape it down. Is it is it where it needs to go though? Hold on. Now let's do the scratchy scratch on it, I suppose. Scratch it up. I hope this applies. Crap, my first time playing a dry decal. And it applied straight on. Nice. Mostly straight, I think. Yeah, let's try it with the other side. Do I have scissors to cut this? Let's try it. Yeah, I got scissors. Let me cut this out. Nip. 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 Okay. Come back. Which side where you want? side. Rotate. Position you just right. 
You're not positioning just right at all. Okay. Vamo with the tape. A bit further up. Oh god, you're a hard position. Rotate slightly. Okay, okay, rotate it. Alright, 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 right, right, here we go. Commit! Commit! Scratch it all around. Hope for the best. Heal up. Nope, you did not stick to it. Scratch harder. Scratch as hard as I can. Okay. And peel off away. Okay. Nice. Two drive transfers done. And oh, Vfin, you popped off. Put you back on. There we go. Let me see on my knife first. Because we've just hit midnight. And I think I'm going to have to call it at that. Anything else? So yeah, let me put this tray of water somewhere safe, like right next to my mouse. Cool. So let me just get these things together to show off. Huzzah! Oh yeah, there's number 10 decal which is missing. I'm not seeing it. Where I go, is there number 8 used anywhere? Da -da. 8 is used on the back there. 12 is there. Thirteen. Where is the thirteen used? Up. Oh, Gundam Fan ninety one is now following. Hey hey, welcome to the stream, Gundam Fan ninety one. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I'm just inspecting my third party decal sheet because either I'm missing, either this didn't include a decal, or they just didn't number it correctly. I'm just analyzing to see. Or it's just a regular Zaft decal. Uh, I'm honestly not seeing it though. Or it's 50, is it 57? Did you just mislabel it? No, they didn't mislabel it. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Is it here? Is it this one? I don't think so. Wait, it's not, it's, actually it's not even numbered. Yeah, I think the mystery of the number 10 not being anywhere in my sheet will have to be for another day. Let's see? Yeah. Gundam Phantom, what are you building my guy, GPO2? No, I am building the Master Grade Providence Gundam. Aha! Actually, I finished building it. I've been painting it the last few weeks. And today, we're getting near the end where I'm doing the decals. Although, it's already past midnight here now, and I only got the front done. And... There's a slight sore spot here of a decal missing because I'm using a third-party decal set and it doesn't have a number 10, even though it's very full. So I think what will happen is I will finish all the other decals first and then go back to find a spare one here to fill it. What's the other thing on my tweezers? Oh, this actually is a scribing guide for doing... Um, circles, 
um, weird patterns and stuff. But then I find it also just it's a nice straight ruler, which I can use uh, for my metal for cutting along the decals. Because it's just nice, thin, slightly flexible, and I can just shoop, cut the decal out, no problem. I'll be honest, 90% of these guides on this thing, I don't use. I either can't... Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a scribing stencil. You're supposed to like, use a scribing pen and then scribe the circle out or scribe the line onto the plastic. The circles are useful. I've used the scribing circles where I put it like on a... Let me see. Piece of plastic and I can scribe a circle out. There, if I don't need to get a drill or if I need to get a circular piece of plastic, I can just scribe in a circle and set, then pop it out. No problem. But the rest of the patterns... Um, uh, some people may have a use for it. I tend to not be able to align it correctly or easily. So, yeah. Kind of don't use it that much. Again, good flexible ruler though. And it's not like too sharp so I don't scratch the water to slide decals as I go. So yeah. Basically I'm just using what I got. No problem man, no problem man. Chat's pretty slow, this is a very chill slow stream. And unfortunately I think you might have come in very close to the end because it's past midnight here. And I only got the front side of this uh, Gundam decal. I did not expect it to take that long to do this much just because I had to reposition everything. At the most, uh, yeah, I got some decals at the back of the head and the back of the shoulder done. But the rest of that is probably going to be another stream. Let's see. Also, I got one on the shield. And I'm just checking it to have... Do I, is that, did I miss anything at the front? Apart from that other one? I think so. Like, just research, because this has all the different decals on it. Yet the number 10 is just not here. And it's like, I want to make sure if I can use any of the spare ones here just to fill up that shoulder. Like, this one's not even numbered. Have you ever built a garage kit? Garage kit, yep, I've built some resin garage kits. In fact, actually, if you see my Twitter here, at CorbinR42, I recently posted... Uh, it's a spoiler post because I was yoloing with the lewd tuber hashtag that's trending right now, three anime garage kits I've done. But note they are of a very mature context and it is spoiler tagged in Twitter for a reason. But yep, I've done resin garage kits. Three of them, actually. Skin tone and all. Very fun. I want to try to see if I can do one of those on the stream, but again, they are of 99% of them of a mature context, so probably not Twitch terms of service a bull. So yeah, I think I have one that can be done, but I have to pull it out from backlog and clean it and uh, wash it up first. And yeah, this is like the second kit I've actually streamed while building and painting it, so I want to get my setup correct. Because like, resin is all white, brush kit resin is usually white, and let's just say white tends to really um, overexpose in my current setup. So yeah, I gotta figure out my camera angles and stuff. Because wow, this camera is actually very close to the thing, because I'm decaling. Usually when I'm painting, it's much further zoomed out like this. No problem, just curious because we used to watch the beginning of Garage Kits, like how they make, yeah, fishy made it themselves. Yep, Garage Kits are literally called that because people would make the kit themselves in their garage. And uh, there's many types of Garage Kits. You get Mecha Garage Kits, which are like conversions or just kits of themselves of models that they exist. Or usually they might be, how should I put it, mature variants of anime figures that have been officially released because the company would never release a mature version of it or whatnot. So yeah. And I, I went that latter route because, you know, if it, resin's expensive if I'm even at discount. So if I'm going to pay that much, I might as well get full value of it. Plus also, when it comes to resin, like, sometimes the resin will be warped and slightly bent, and with character figures where surfaces are curved, like, curved hands, skin and stuff, warping isn't much of an issue versus a mecha where you have, like, some straight lines. The far this is warped slightly, you have to heat bend it back straight and do a lot of fixing. So I just, I try to avoid 
mecha resin kits, but if one catches my fancy, I might get that. Although, as I say, you see, I my model has a respirator on my face right now. I have a respirator right here. If you're doing gar resin garage kits, um, the da sanding dust from the resin is carcinogenic, just like lacquer paint. You must have a particle or oil-based, actually, for resin, just a particle-based respirator, keep your lungs clean. And you should use wet sanding, where you wet your sandpaper and then you sand, so it holds the particles to the paper. That's one major safety tip. Also, let's see, exactly, is your VTuber a gym or a pair of rider custom? It, this is a gym striker custom. In fact, let me grab my body off my shelf. Let's just say, when I went, became, decided to finally do VTubing and stuff, I just YOLO'd something over the weekend and finessed it over a week. I just took one of my customized kits that would most readily accept some animated eyes. And, uh, here, here's me! Here, here's my body, Jim Stryker, with, with his waifu pillow, because of course you have to have a waifu pillow. And uh, basically, just like, empty, there's empty space on the face, so it's like, I can just put eyes and other animations I need, and I'm good to go. Thank you. This is Sazabi Red from Mr. Hobby. Can I pull the pots of paint out? It's Sazabi Red with a, a matte finish over it. Uh, where's my Mr. Hobbies? I'm reaching for them. I cannot see. Oh, it's right here. Yonk. Oh, sorry, not Sazabi Red. Uh, close enough. Mr. Color 68 Red Matter. Uh, uh. Focus, please. Focus. Focus. There we go. Mr. Color 68 Red Matter. This is as close to Sazabi Red as you can get. Unless you get the special Gundam Sazabi Red. Yeah, let's put this to the side before I drop this again. I have other weapons stuff for him, but, uh... There! Since he's only a pillow, it won't work. The red on this Gundam, though, I tried a darker Russet Red. Focus. Russet, 81. So this is the red that's used on the feet and the red spots on this Gundam. It's just a richer, darker, more cherry red. This is the brighter Gundam style red. So these are my two new favorite reds. <laughs> I think also if you want to see more of my body, uh, let me see. Do I have that Imga album nearby? Imga. Come on, don't fail me now. Yes, here it is. Boom. Full body. That's the album I did. I made when I finished my that Jim Striker before with all of its weapons and stuff. If you're interested, I do quite a bit of customizing and painting. Well, I did a bunch of customizing, but now I stream. It's going to be um, a bit harder to figure that out. I got me the Gundam Red and Shah Asmo Red from Hobby Lobby. Nice. Yeah, most Reds is all the same. I just. In terms of what I could find available, like, Red Matter apparently was the closest you can get without going for the fancy Gundam color ones. So, sure. And it worked out pretty well. Another, although white is still a major problem to deal with. But, uh, if I have the white here, I can show you as well. Here it is. This Gundam actually is off-white. Mr. Color 69 off-white. This one paints so well compared to regular white. It does not over thin, it covers nicely, and it's, well, white enough. It's not fully white, but it's like a grayish white, which is quite good. And it caused me no issues. Like other whites I've dealt with, they will over thin, they'll pool and drip. Nope, this was extremely thick, and it just works pretty well. So yeah. My two, my two favorite colors now. Well, actually, yeah, two. The red matter and the off-white. Oops. Other side. I've been a hobby. I've been doing this for about uh, blah, 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 blah. one, two, three, four, five years. I returned to the hobby, and about the last two and a bit years, I've been actually getting into painting with airbrushes and stuff. I had a cheaper airbrush, and I've just this year changed to upgraded to a Iwata airbrush. With a full pump set. But yeah, basically, I build... I've always been interested in model building. 
But that's sort of like customizing and painting up is a sort of a recent last few years thing. And I thought, you know, let's start, let's start streaming this as well. Why not? See if it, I fell down the, I went looking up all sorts of VTuber clips and stuff, fell down that rabbit hole. Like, maybe I can become one myself. And now I have. And I can join my hobby with those similar minded people. That can I reach? Uh, one of my other prides and joys, which is just within reach here, is carefully, carefully, carefully. Uh, this boy. This is what I actually customized up as well. It's the full. I did a full armor hazel, which is a advanced hazel. I managed to magnetize the Alex's armor pieces on to it, and I gave it the Verdbusters uh, missile shoulders. And. This is my most elaborate custom build so far. And it's like, yeah. Really interested in custom, like doing the kit bashing, build fighter style stuff. Yeah. Slightly back here. Uh, knocked my pillar out of my hand. Close enough. But yeah. If you're interested, you can look up um, Reddit build fight system. And uh, you can see that's one of the discords I'm in, which. They're the ones that truly inspired me to start going beyond just building and actually painting, detailing, and seamlining pretty much beyond straight building. And it's a real great place if you're really into building kits and customizing painting. But I can just type it here. Search up um, build fight system on Reddit. On Reddit. Try old reddit view and check the discord there we go yeah if you're really into building stuff you can search them up there and join on in i'm in there as well and a lot of my friends are as well uh if you're watching more of your streams now just join twitch love watching different people cool man up up yeah there's there's a decent little uh gundam building community on twitch it's just down to time zonings like, most are American time zones, I'm in an Asian time zone, so I just stream after work, so I usually grab the US time zones in the morning. But yeah, there's, I can recommend, like, there's the Bad Gunpla channel, uh, R Gunpla and stuff, Stroud. And if you're also following Twitter, you'll probably go through a rabbit hole of finding other people who stream Gunpla as well. Or just ask us in the build fight system. But yeah, but I'm real glad you came by, and I'm glad you like what I'm doing. For, and uh, after this is decaled up and everything, I'll probably... Let's see. After this decaled up, I'm going to still have to decide what kit to do next. I don't find your Discord, sir. Uh, I don't actually have a Discord, but I am in a Discord that focuses heavily on building. And if you're like that as well, then... Uh, let me find it. Fight system. Show me old style Reddit, please. Old style Reddit. Is this the old style Reddit? One second, I need open in old Reddit mode. Uh, old dot Reddit. Oh. I know when they changed the Reddits between old and new style, they kind of screwed up how things looked. And so getting that link to work is kind of hard. Here we go. Copy the paste. The uh, here posted Welcome to BFS should have the link to Discord in it. Uh, let me see. Continue to Discord. Does that open it up correctly? Yes, it does. Yep. That's the, the one Discord which I'm in. I will make my own Discord later if this kicks off. It's like right now, I'm still getting this whole setup together. It's like, cool, no problem. It's like, I got the setup working, camera setup. I was like, okay, let's start painting and streaming. Get things working. And I was like, oh god, I need to do my community stuff, like get a Discord running, do emotes. I hit affiliate last week, which is really fun. Then I realized, oh wait, I have affiliate emotes to set up now. I was not prepared for this. And then I was trying to catch the weather to paint this when it's not raining, or paint it when it's sunny so it'll dry fast. So yeah, I was like, hmm. I got a lot to do. Again, th thanks for coming and thanks for joining as well. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm sorry I have to cut this off early, but it's past midnight and I have work in the morning. So I will bid you 
Good. Thank you for coming, and a uh, good night. And of course, you can catch my Twitter at uh, at Coleman R42. You know I'm on Twitch here already. You might find my vods on Coleman R Plumber VTuber on YouTube. I'll still upload vods to YouTube as I go along. And uh, yeah, you'll most likely find my updates on uh, my Twitter though, or the BFS system. And then with that, since if you're interested in gun gunpla builders and stuff, before we go. We're going to use the Twitch raid function and raid another builder. Which basically just shunts all the viewers over to another streamer. So let me quickly search up makers and crafting and find someone else who is Gundam building. Uh, let me see. That's Lego. Ah, here we go. Gunpla Knights. All right, we're going to be shifting over to another VTuber, looks like. Anyone else got in the building right now? Not what off the top of my head, I can see. All right, Sweo. I need to copy a dashboard, a dashboard, and raid channel. Paste. Okay, we're gonna begin to raid Sweo in. Eight seconds. So up again. Thank you very much for coming to my stream. Uh, hope I 10:30 p.m. GST, Japan Standard Time, is when I normally normally stream. Uh, catch me on Twitter, whatever. Blah blah. Uh, good night, and let's go. Wait. Coleman Art. Hello. Welcome. Welcome Raiders! And thank you Hash, thank you for... Thank you for worrying about me. I'm alright. 